Craig here and today somebody emailed me asking for help creating a custom menu so I figured why not create a quick video and show them how I go about creating a custom menu. Now what we're looking at here is my example blog and the menu currently has a home icon and four pages. Now if I go into my admin area you'll see that what I have published is four pages and the first one published was the sample page and the last one published was 11 minutes ago called custom menu and that's why it's in this order from the first one published to the last one published now the problem here is I have no option of having the about us placed here because I have no way to customize my menu and if I added another five more pages to my website well I would run out of room and it would probably drop down to the second line here and look all messed up so with that being said, what we need to do is create a custom menu. So under appearance, we have menu and we're going to give this menu a name. I'm just going to call it header and click on create menu. Now the menu is being created and I'm just going to hit save menu. I'm not sure if I need to do that or not. And now we have theme location. Now this theme supports two themes, one in the header menu and one in, in the footer menu. I'm going to select header menu so it's going to use this menu for my header area I'm going to press save so if I reload the home page you, we shouldn't have any buttons in the menu it's totally blank and that's because we haven't dragged anything over to our menu so we're going to click on view all pages and we can select all the pages we want to have in our menu so for this example I'm just going to select them all and add to menu and I'm just going to press save so we can see what's going on and if I reload my page you'll see that all of them have appeared here now this theme that I'm using here I feature it actually has an option to display a home icon so we definitely don't need the home button here and you know I don't really need this custom menu button or this sample page so coming back to my menu the first thing I'm going to do is remove this home one and then we have these here which I can remove or if I wanted to I could place them as like a child of this contact us page so I'm going to pull it over to the right and as you can see it snaps into place but we can do it like that if we wanted to let's click save menu and see what's changed reload my page so the home button is gone and now we have the about us and the contact us but then we have a drop down menu so we could go to any of these pages so next I want to add my blog categories so I'm going to click view all and we have dog tricks obedience training and puppies we're going to click add to menu and we have these here now they're perfectly fine like that so let's click save menu make sure that that's worked and that's fine now let's say for for instance maybe I had uh, five blog categories and I was kind of stuck for how much room I had here now if I wanted to I could alter what it said and maybe it just said obedience so coming back to my menu each each menu button here has like a drop down option so the navigation label I'm just going to press control C and copy that and we're just going to change this to obedience now this is just an example now we have a title attribute now I'm going to enter in obedience training here and press save menu so now when I re reload we should have gained a little bit more room in our menu because it only says obedience however because we've entered in a title attribute when we hover over obedience it now says obedience training which is great for SEO related reasons but if we go over the other buttons they don't they don't have a title attribute for SEO reasons I recommend that for example dog tricks I would definitely enter dog tricks here and etc and update your menu now we have an option here to add a custom link you know perhaps you have a Facebook page or something and you want to link to your Facebook page so I could just enter in you know you'd enter in your Facebook uh, personal URL and then you can enter your label name I'm just going to enter in Facebook and click add to menu so now we have Facebook down here but 
it doesn't really belong in the menu there but if I wanted to I could put it under contact us I'm going to hit save menu and we're going to refresh here so let's say somebody wanted to contact us and they went there and then they saw Facebook so well hey you know what I have Facebook I can contact you via Facebook so if they click on Facebook they go off to Facebook anyway that's pretty much how you can create your own custom menu now again you will have to make sure that your WordPress theme supports custom menus and most of them do these days uh, if you run into any problems or you have questions just post a comment below uh, so don't forget if this video helped click the like button and subscribe if you'd like to be notified of new videos if you have uh, any video requests you're more than welcome to post them as a comment below and I'll gladly create some additional how-to tutorials. Have a great day.